Ha, Pete from Divi Engine. Yeah, so today we're just going to be going through the third section, which is inject layouts. This is where Divi Mobile can get really interesting, where you can add layouts that you create in the Divi Builder and input it into your menus. It's yeah, the the, the possibilities are endless with this. You know, you can create some really exciting mobile uh, mobile menus or even d uh, desktop menus, for that matter. So yeah, let's just check it out. So there's two sections where you can input layouts. One is above your menu and one is below. So just created a, I've created two menu items. One is the menu footer. Well, actually, let's just start with the menu header just to kind of give you an idea. So the menu head, all I've done is I've just created just an image of our logo. Simple, I just want our logo above there, so then therefore I uh, create got a Divi, Divi library, create a new library item, add an image, save it, then in here you, you choose the menu item. Now you see some of the stylings gone is messed up and this is we spoke about this in previous videos, sometimes with the customizer it can it can freak out a little bit, so just save and reload and it'll work. Um, so inject layouts, yeah, so we have it, there we go, and now the mobile, the logo is there, so the logo is crazy big, um, you can, you know, you can adjust the sizing in here, uh, sizing, or even in here, image, sizing, max width, I don't know, 50%, alignment, center, um, update, So let's just reload that and have a little look. Now you can obviously reload on the front end of your website rather than use a customizer all the time, but uh, I just want to use this just so we can see. There we go, so it's 50%. looks good. Nice in the center, you can make it smaller if you want, whatever. The second one I've created is, so if I go to Divi Divi Library, I've created a menu footer um, a layout. Now in here I've just added three blurbs, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. We've created a module, the stop module stacking. So there's a similar one else that's been used, but it's our version pretty much. Nothing's like we don't claim to have uh, you know, invented this, but it's good for us. So let's say we have a column of three rows, uh, sorry, a row of three columns. What happens with Divi is because on mobile, so if I just remove this for example, Okay, let's just add this in now, just so you can see. So I have I have three rows, and I have a one full of email opt-in. So I have, you know, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. I specified in here in the menu footer. Publish. Well, so you can see it's coming there. Um, there's the Facebook, Twitter, YouTube blurbs, and there's the email opt-in. I haven't started or anything, so it looks a bit weird. But anyway, point being is. These, because of Divi, they've all stacked on top of each other because of the mobile response or the responsiveness. But we don't want that. We want them next to each other. How do we do this? Well, we've created a module. And if you just add the module called uh, stop, st stop module stacking, if you just add that in, in the row. So if I add it in here, for example, it won't affect these. But if I add it anywhere in here, it can be there, it can be there, it can be there, wherever. And I update it. It will cause these three to not stack. So let's check it out. There we go. So you see, they don't stack now. So they can be next to each other. Uh, there's, I've made it with, anyway, so you can, you can do all sorts. To change the sizes, you can you can add a little bit about your company, contact details, even a contact form if you want. Especially when it comes to the big uh, on like a desktop, you open that up. I mean, this is a bit ridiculous at the moment, but you can see how you can add all sorts. I could have you know contact details and whatever in there, but I'm just focusing just on the mobile at the moment just looking at that okay so 
that's it. Uh, that's how you can inject some louts. The possibilities are endless. Um, I'm just going to remove them just to keep everything simple. I might just keep the header. Uh, and yeah, that's that's just how. Yeah. So I hope I hope this has kind of created some inspiration for you to create some really beautiful mobile menus using the Divi Builder. But more importantly, keep things really slick with our pre-made styles. But the ability for you to inject layouts made with the Divi Builder. Don't forget about the stop stacking module uh, to stop things from stacking on mobile. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's pretty. It's just yeah, just for you to just explore and have fun. So I hope this has been helpful. And any questions, give us a shout. I hope you have a great day. See you soon.